As expected, Oprah may be planning a 2020 run for the presidency of the United States. But as you see here by the headline, she says she's waiting on a clear sign from God. Check out the article. All right, let me scroll down a little bit here. It says, entertainment mogul Oprah Winfrey told People in an interview published this week that the one thing that can get her to run for the presidency is if God provided her with a clear sign that she should do it. Now, notice how they make it a point to show Oprah in prayer in the article. Have you seen the videos of Oprah denying Jesus Christ as Lord so as to generate another Jesus as the prophecy predicted will happen today? I mean, there's so many videos now, all I can do is give you a link wherein they are listed in YouTube. And all the links are in my blog entry for today, by the way. And so it is obvious the God she prays to is not the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Still, if she decides to run, she will claim that the God of heaven is the one that told her to run. Now, I doubt seriously that she will run as she knows nothing about politics or even how to run a nation. But in today's world, wherein we have seen puppets in the White House the last few decades, anything can happen. But I say that the timing of her announcement is perfect, as anyone that saw my last video can see. The talk of religion in politics is ramping up so as to normalize political religiosity in the minds of the American people, because as prophesied, the need for religious laws is a must if they are ever going to be able to enforce the mark of the beast. And since all the preachers in this nation, in every denomination, has already vowed to create an image to the beast, which means they mix their churches with the state, we already have a government religion. And as was illustrated in my last video, the mark of the beast is, in fact, a religious law. So this is why the politicians and even the ones that are thinking about running for office are going to be using God a lot in their political statements. And so it's obvious as to why Oprah made this announcement when she did. And think about this as well. If who she calls God doesn't speak to her, telling her to run for office, then all she did by her announcement was to bow to her dying God so as to use her popularity to keep the religious banter active in the media because she has a lot of ears that listen to her. But if she decides to run, she will be able to escalate her so-called religion in politics because the common sense question has to be, what do you think is going to be the very first question every single news agency is going to ask her on day one of her political campaign? You guessed it. They're all going to ask the same question. They're going to ask her what sign God gave her that made her know it was time for her to run for president. And so right from Jump Street, her campaign is going to be drenched in religiosity because she will be known as the candidate God officially endorsed. And even though she isn't a Christian, as per accurate biblical definition, you know, like Obama, who we have a mountain of evidence confirming he was not a Christian, as he claimed, she too will claim to be a Christian to garner the votes in this Christian nation. And then it'll be far easier for her to sell the idea for religious law, especially when mainstream prosperity preachers honor her before the masses in their televised church services and visit her on her talk shows. And why in these last days, wherein the sins of mankind declare it to be an evil and adulterous generation, is someone as popular as Oprah asking God for a sign? Well, it's because of what Jesus said in Matthew 12, 39, which was that an evil and adulterous generation is always going to seeketh after a sign. And so it was expected that someone like Oprah, who denies Jesus Christ as Lord, and has promoted a new age movement that embraces satanic theology to billions would be puffed up by the powers that be in this sin-sick world. The fact she believes that God is jealous of her proves Satan has a tight grip on this woman. And so please pray for her. And for those of you that were a little bit shocked when I said that she believes God is jealous of her, check this out. I happen to be... Um, sitting in church in my late 20s and I was going to this church where you had to get there at you know 8 o'clock in the morning or you couldn't get a seat and a very uh, charismatic minister and everybody was just you know into the sermon and uh, this great uh, minister was preaching about how great God was and how omniscient and omnipresent and God is everything and then he said and the Lord thy God is a jealous God and I was, you know, caught up in the rapture of that moment until he said jealous. And something struck me. Just, and I was like, uh, I think about 27 or 28. I was thinking, God is all, God is omnipresent, God is all. And God's also jealous. Jealous, God is jealous of me. Um, and something about that didn't, didn't feel right in my spirit. Thank you for watching. God bless.